Hello there, I'm Kelly from MX Hideout. I just wanna say that carb tuning is not black magic. At least if you understand how each jet and component works and where it's located. And that's why in this video, I'm gonna explain how the pilot jet on a four stroke dirt bike carburetor actually works so that you're not confused on where it is or how to actually tune it so that your bike runs right first where's the pilot jet located well on every dirt bike carb it's going to be inside the float bowl so that here's the top of the carb here's the bottom on this one this keen fcr you just got four screw well five including the uh, idle screw pull the screws off and the float bowl comes off and then the pilot jet is harder to see but it's the one just next to the main jet. The main jet is usually the one in the middle, the one sticking out the furthest. Where the pilot jet, you need a flat blade screwdriver to get it out. Make sure you have the proper sized screwdriver, otherwise it's gonna be really easy to round the head off on the top of the brass screw. And make sure you wanna push in when you're pulling it out. So it's just typical righty tighty lefty loosey so turn it left to break it loose and it'll slide right out <laughs> i did the wrong one i got the leak jet here so here's the leak jet on most carbs there's usually right here just the main jet and the pilot jet and you don't have to worry about that leak jet so now we'll pull the pilot jet out here we go. This is what the pilot jet looks like. In comparison to the main jet, the pilot jet is typically longer and skinnier, and it'll have the number, which is the size of the jet stamped on it, uh, at least an OEM jet. For this one, it has the Kian star symbol on it with the number right next to it. And this one is a 45 pilot jet. Some bigger carbs, you can actually take this uh, float bowl drain plug off and pull the uh, pilot jet out, but most of them you're gonna need to take the whole float bowl off. And you don't necessarily need to take the whole carb off of the bike because that can be a real pain, especially on these aluminum frame bikes where you need to take like half the bike apart. And if you wanna know how to remove this without taking the carb off of your bike, you should check out this video up here. So what does this jet actually do? Well, it controls the fuel air ratio being sucked in, but it's a little bit more complex than that. Let me just break it down in a few simple steps. You turn on the gas, the petcock fuel fills up the float bowl, and then as soon as you start up your bike, the pilot jet is the main jet that is sucking up the fuel. So the pilot jet's gonna be sitting in the fuel which is in the float bowl and as the engine is running it's sucking in fuel through that pilot jet and the most important part you need to know is that the pilot jet controls idle to roughly quarter turn throttle response so that means it's the most important jet for starting proper idle and that off idle power and throttle response so when you're riding at like 1500 rpm right at idle and then you crack the throttle open this is the jet that needs to be tuned properly otherwise it's going to bog or sputter if it's too rich or too lean so if the pilot jet circuit is too rich or too lean because it's too big or too small or it's dirty because it's clogged up from old gas it's gonna be harder to start, perhaps when cold or hot, or it may bog when you crack open the throttle. And it can also have that hanging idle. So you rev it up and you shut off the throttle and it takes a few seconds to settle back down. Rem, rem. Or it might only run when you have the choke on. So you start up your bike uh, with the choke and then you turn it off even after it's warmed up it still dies, it's likely because the pilot jet is clogged or is too lean. The pilot jet circuit is the most important and it's the first one I tune because you need it to have your bike start first or second kick, have it idle smoothly, and good power and throttle response right off of idle, which is where I spend most of my time trail riding. But if you really wanna know if your pilot jet is too rich or too lean, you should check out this video right here. And if you're sick and tired of your bike being hard to start or poor throttle response or bogging or sputtering, I want you to have a bike that runs well so that you enjoy riding it and don't get sick of 
tuning it, uh, adjusting it, uh, or it's running so badly that you just want to sell it and buy a new bike. I'm Kelly Figure from MX Hideout. Ride safe, have fun.